So as you probably know, we got a lot of snow up here in Colorado. But you probably did too, because what? 43 states got snow this past couple days? That's wild. But yeah, up here in Boulder, we got a lot of snow. Um, it's kind of cold out here. So vlogging is not my normal style, but I thought I'd give it a try. You probably don't see all this snow and think, oh, perfect, Miata weather. But uh, I'm gonna take out the Miata. They pretty much plowed the roads. It's really not that scary out here. So yeah, I'm gonna take the Miata out and go make a target run, because target is my jam. Um, snow tires are honestly all you need for this. I mean, you need some like common sense and sensibility, which I guess is debatable for me at this point. Daily driving a Miata in Colorado all year. But hey, it's, it can be your only car as long as you have dedicated snow tires. I have mine on separate 16 inch wheels, so a little thicker sidewall, looks meaty, I like it, rides nice, and it does great in the snow. Um, the ground clearance is the big questionable part. Let's give it a go. All right, step one, pull out of the garage. Barely made it. So, step two, go to Target. It's cold. So, join me on this wild ride to Target. Woo. Scraping, everything is scraping. But it's just wet snow on the bottom of the car, it's fine. Something I wanted to know on a video is, we have a podcast. It is out now. Um, one episode is out at the time of me recording this, hopefully, more will be out by the time you see this. But um, in our most recent podcast, we talk about snow tires. It's a world of a difference. Um, I grew up in Missouri. I didn't know about snow tires in Missouri. I know some people had them, but it wasn't a big deal. Um, we just didn't get as much snow, and we got a lot of ice, and snow tires really don't do that much on ice unless they're studded. Um, really, if you want the whole conversation, check out the podcast. But snow tires were a big point of my research when I moved here and bought this Miata. I was like, okay, if I'm going to really drive this thing all year, in winter, in the snow, what do I have to do? What do I have to know? Um, snow tires was a huge deal. Everyone, that was everyone's first recommendation. Like I said, my snow tires are on different wheels, which is... 100% the way to go. I can literally switch them out in my garage. Uh, it takes me like 30 minutes for all four, and that's without having any sort of electric impact driver or lift or anything. Also, I am so glad I have heated seats. There's something to be said about a raw sports car with just nothing but a manual transmission and an engine, but Heated seats are lovely, especially in a Roadster. I almost went for the club model in C, and heated seats are literally the reason I didn't. 
I'm also lazy and I love the keyless ignition. So, go ahead, sir. You have cool shoes. I'll let you buy. The specific tire I have is Champiro Ice Pro. Pretty sure they're some sort of off brand, but honestly, they work pretty great. Don't you just love to Joe? Easter already? Fog is real. Bye, Target. I will miss you. One more stop. Oh, snap. That's the new hybrid Benza. Hazel's is a staple if you want alcohol in Boulder. I'm on a mission for a good IPA. Support local. If you haven't seen my other video on the snow melt, check that out. Shameless plug. Controlled throttle just takes a little coercion, that's all. Ah, yes. I won't grill the night. Yeah, we have a shoe problem. All right, well, thank you for joining me on my wintry excursion. As you can see, snow tires are really all you need to drive on snow. Granted, it's still slippery, but it's possible. Um, so yeah, have a good one and I'm gonna sit back and enjoy the sunset. Let me know uh, if you have any IPA suggestions and uh, what kind of snow tires do you guys use? And let me know if you wanna see a video on my setup, my office setup. For some reason, people do vlogs about their offices all the time, and I watch them, so if you want that, let me know. Catch you later.